Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Footies Week 2 is starting off absolutely incredible, guys. A huge team of players in packs, including an even bigger Team 2 of the re-release with more exciting cards, and the pack weight seems to be better as well. The pack grind is officially back on inside of Footies, and with that, we have new SBCs to be crafting and completing with all that fodder and the promise of more coming. That's a big part of today's content on Saturday. I want to talk about that and what might be the best SBC of footies coming either today or at least really soon as a part of footies week two. We have a lot to discuss today. There's a lot of content yesterday to go over. So if you're excited for footies team two and if you're enjoying this grind or if you have packed somebody good yesterday, drop a thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you're new. So let's dig into all of this content from yesterday on Friday, starting with the objective section. Guys, we had of course a refreshed daily play objective. Three different games you have to play each day. You get some packs and the daily play reward one once again, overall reward is a player card picket from the NWSL, the American left back, decent card there. Also 500 XP inside of this and some other pretty good packs. It's worth it to be playing the game at the moment for sure. We also have the Joao Paulinha objective card in here. He's got 99 physical, four star, five star, and that is a transfer card from Fulham to Bayern Munich. If you need a Bayern center defensive mid or a Bundesliga CDM, that is a pretty easy card for you to obtain right there as well. Now, those are two things in objectives, but the biggest thing when it comes to objectives and specifically XP from yesterday's content is EA added in XP for playing games, just like they did at the end of last season when we were all chasing Pushkas and those cards at the end of the season. They've added in XP for each and every single game that you play. I believe it's 50 XP if you complete a full 90 minute match. If you get a rage quit or the match ends early, uh, then you will get less XP, but it's like 50 XP per game. And it's just nice because it feels like it puts us in control of grinding our way through the season pass. Of course, they dropped the other XP as well inside of the Palina. There's 500 inside of this there's 500 so a thousand there plus all of the xp you can get from just playing matches like playing the weekend league squad battles games for evolutions and even division rivals you can get that xp for as well so that is a huge huge w and i'm sure that a lot of people are going to be progressing really quickly through the season i tweeted it out yesterday i was like guys you're going to see people with holland probably by the end of the week because there's going to be so many people wanting to get to that holland card especially with the meta of the game being so aerial plus oriented right that Holland's going to be crazy. There's going to be people going crazy with games this week to grind to that card. I just like that we have the opportunity, like I said, to be in the driver's seat to get as far as we want to get with XP in the season because it's just based on games that we play. So I love that. But let's go to Evolutions and talk about the technical Titan Evo that was dropped. Again, just like last Friday, we get now one, but we get two of these. And honestly, I didn't look at this Evo that much after content because I was just so fixated on the pack grind and ripping packs and all that. But there are some pretty nice options in here. One thing that I noticed is if you saved either the footies duo, one of the two, or the footies countdown, evolutions, which I don't have the footies countdown, but I do have a footies duo. There are some very nice combinations that you can whip up like this Eder Militao foot birthday, who is now in packs footies duo one and then technical Titan. You get yourself an aerial anticipate pinged and I mean, technical plus not that useful on Militao, but 92 pace, 96 defending, and 95 physical on an Eder Militao card is pretty crazy. Kamavinga is one of those cards that looks really insane. If you packed him during La Liga Tots, he goes crazy on the technical Titan boost as well with that technical plus added to his card, as do, again, like Sawa and some of the other cards that are inside of here. I think even Winter Wild Cards Hullet is one that people are evolving out of this um, because you can double Evo Hullet. So there's a lot of options with this Evo. Like, it's good for sure. When I look into my club, I'm not sure who I actually want to use. Um, th there's nobody that strikes me right away that I'm like, oh, I got to get this done. Maybe Josh uh, Sargent here from a uh, USA standpoint. Technical plus on this card would actually be pretty good with his finesse and his first touch and a little bit of a stat boost there. At least it's free and you can put a really, really high rated player inside of it. 93 overall, 95 max pace and number of play styles max nine. So really high potential there for upgrading some really cool cards. If there's cards that you like, go ahead and do them. I mean, Evos for me right now, they're a little bit of on a backseat because so many insane cards are in SBCs and in packs that it just feels like Evos really have to be something emotional for me to want to get it done. But there are a few cards 
that I'm interested in that I'm still completing. So I wonder what you guys are feeling surrounding that. But let's talk about SBCs because that is kind of where all of the pack grind and the craft focuses in, right? And you see me already completing part of the Bootrock Bunyo SBC. This was the big SBC that was dropped yesterday. This is, I think, EA's answer to our question and our desires, saying we want a big SBC to craft. We want it to be worth it. We want it to be expensive, but we want it to be a card that we feel like we would use for maybe most of the end game, or at least for a long time, that's like actually worth putting a lot of fodder into. And this one, I think people are on the fence about, guys. Buchoganyo is coming in at about 1.7 million coins. I think he was over 2 million but fodder is so cheap with everything that was re-released and the prices on fodder are just absolutely tanking let's talk about this butra though because some people are on the fence saying he's way too expensive but i have so much fodder what else do i do with it and that is exactly why i started this sbc i was right away not a huge fan of the price 24 squads just seems like a lot but again once you start opening packs and seeing how much fodder you're going to be getting. I had so many 91s, 92s, 93s, and 94s yesterday. I was able to complete all the 92 rated squads so easily from just saved up 84 times 10s. I did a 91 rated squad as well, and a couple of other ones here in between, and a couple 89 squads and 86 rated squad. So I honestly think that if you're putting in some effort to the menus this week, you're doing the upgrade SBCs every single day, you're ripping the 82 plus player pick and other upgrade packs that come out, I think this is a semi worth it player. It's not a no brainer, must complete type of SBC, but it's it's a decent introduction to one of those big SBC sets with a lot of squads inside of it for a card that's probably going to have some of the best left stick dribbling in the game. Guys, this is the OG FIFA rat for left stick dribbling with 99 maxed out pace, 99 maxed out dribble. He does have 94 composure, which is a little weird. If you're going to give him a 99 face stat, you know, maybe boost that up a little bit higher. But even, you know, the 99 finish, finishing and attack positioning, he is going to be absolutely bananas in game. If you're like, I don't know if I want to come like commit to the 24 squad. Just go do the 84 rated squad for the loan. Try him out. See how you like him. I can understand how people want to be doing this SBC, and I can understand how people don't want to be. But if you're grinding the menus, um, this is an SBC that I think you can get done probably in a week. I know it seems crazy, but if you're putting some time in, you can get him done pretty easily. Now, the other SBC yesterday is no contest, no brainer, a easy complete SBC, and it is Paulo Dybala. I already completed this SBC. It was so easy to get done. I probably could have done another two or three squads of Butraguano if I wouldn't have done Dybala. But what a card this Dybala is. He's 5-star, five 5-star. Five he is 97 rated. He is not a footies premium card. That's one thing I wish he was. But he's got finesse, technical, pinged, and flare plus, which some people say that flare plus, once again, on the finesse shots makes them really, really cracked. Only 260k face value for this card. Unreal. 99 dribbling, 98 shooting. One thing I do wish he had, and maybe instead of ping pass or instead of flare, was quick step. I just feel like in game he's lacking a quick step plus, and maybe that's why EA didn't give it to him because he's this price. He would have been absolutely disgusting if he had a quick step plus. That's just for me using him in a few games yesterday, how he felt. Still, though, a really, really awesome card, and I mean, guys, so easy to complete. A 260,000 four squad SBC is like you get that done in a blink of an eye with how much fodder is out right now. Now, the player. I want to mention this as well. This one actually feels worth doing. I did it twice yesterday and I got some high rated pulls. If you're on the fence about doing Butragueno and you're not sure about it yet, maybe just do a few of these. And you know what? We got so much fodder. Let's just do one right now. We can do this 87 rated squad. Easy peasy. And it's a player pick. I have some cards on a sign. It's fine. We'll get it done and dust it here really fast. But this pick with the cards that are in packs in batch two, Again, it just feels like it's worth the opportunity of trying it a few times. You've got all the insane cards like the Ronaldo and even some of the Make Your Mark cards. We'll talk about this in a second. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here, but I could not believe that they put Make Your Mark cards back in packs uh, yesterday already. Now, I felt that was really, really early, but I'm not complaining. I'm just a little surprised as we figure this out here. Boom, that's an 85 for an 86. Let's complete it and do this re-release badge to play your pick. I already have Ronaldo, as you guys maybe saw on Twitter. Let's see if we can get something nice here. We get ASM and Lassiter. I'm going to take ASM for the footies dupe theory, but um, 
at the very least, there I just got a team of the season card for Dupe Theory for ASM footies and a team of the season card that I can re-release uh, into another SBC with the Todd's requirements. So that SBC in itself is fun to just rinse and repeat on because there are a lot of good players in Batch 2. I think it's way worth more so than Batch 1 the player pick was. So that one is there for your desires of crafting, kind of the quick, easy gamble. Last thing I want to mention with SBCs is... This one's maybe not super applicable to a ton of people, but the ultimate bronze and ultimate silver upgrades, if you're building a club, maybe a new RTG, or just coming back to the game and your club is down bad, like you turn in a bronze squad, you get a seven silver rare players pack, you put those silver rares and you get eight gold commons. It's not bad. Um, I guess this is just helping us with the grind this week. And with these two SBCs here and another thing that EA said, you can kind of put the pieces together about what's going to be coming out pretty soon in terms of a crafting SBC. So we'll get onto that here in just a second. But let's talk about the cards that are impacts. Let's talk about the craft that is happening right now. Footies Team 2. I think this is better than Team 1, honestly. Better icons, Cantona, Best, and Pele. Of course, you hit, you know, you had some really big cards in Team 1 for sure. You don't have a Neymar kind of this week. You have Graham Hansen and you have Rolfo. But we have Pele. I think this team is better, though, because of the middle tier. Lewandowski, Benzema, Rodman, St. Maximin. Those are all really, really good cards that are not that expensive, but they're really, really good. That Lewandowski is 5-star, five 5-star. Five the Benzema with the Finesse Plus and Power Header, also 5-star, five 5-star. Five and then ASM. It's ASM. You know he's going to be insane. Also, just uh, got the move to Fenerbahce as well, so his card reflects that, which is nice. And even the icons, man, like George Best. This is bringing me back to George Best um, that was around during Team of the Year. It was crazy. I also love the dynamics. They kind of went with like younger versions of George Best, younger version of Cantona and Pele. So I kind of love that as well. Man, Cantona was literally 2.1 million coins. And now he's all the way up to 3 mil. Crazy fluctuations with these cards. Now, the one thing that I will say is... I would expect these cards to drop because they seem more packable than Team 1. EA was running some tradable lightning grounds yesterday, and that's what happened last week as well. These cards will most likely drop even further today, as will the cards that are in batch number 2, the re-release, especially because these cards are out for two weeks, and if anybody's looking to use these, they're probably not going to buy and hold long term, to be completely honest, because these cards are out for two weeks. Team 2 of footies out for one week. Team 2 of re-release out for two weeks, right? But we have big players in here. I was not expecting Make Your Mark and Path to Glory players. Guys, we've got four playstyle plus cards in here with Danny Olmo and Shuameni being re-released back into packs and even more players than Batch 1. And of course, including more Team of the Year cards and a card like Messi, a card like Pele, Foot Birthday, and that Jarzinho Golazo as well. Seeing this list yesterday, we just knew that it was going to be hype. I'll put this list down below in the description if you have not checked it out yet. But this is a banging team. Look at all these high rated 96s and 7s and 95s and 94s. So many 92s, 3s, and 4s. I feel like I'm packing one every couple of packs, which is, again, one of the reasons why that Bucha Guanyu SBC kind of feels like you can do it and kind of feels worth it because it's so easy to get the higher rated fodder. And that is partially why fodder prices are absolutely down in the mud but it's the weight too right like yesterday i didn't start opening packs until like 20 or 30 minutes after content and then everybody else had already been opening and then everybody's like nate the weight is insane i'm packing so many insane cards and i think yes the weight on the footies is a little bit better as i'm going to get sucked into another one of these player picks right here real quick because they're just too fun um but i think it's also the team that's re-released the quantity of players in packs and the quality of them both at the same time being so high it's, it's going to make for an even better grind and a better pack craft this week than it, there was last week. Now, we just need the SBCs. Honestly, the SBCs, if they come out and kind of support um, the, the hype of the uh, packs, like we're going to have so much opportunity to put fodder into places like other SBCs that it's just going to mean this week's grind and craft is absolutely insane. So we're going to go here and try to find the correct rating and pro I don't want to put in a 91. That would be way too high. Let's go for maybe an 87. I pack that Thunderstruck Emery Chan all the time. We'll put in Letitia here. Let's see if this works. 88 for an 87. Kinds doesn't work. 87 for an 85 does. One quick last change. Can I do this? I can do that. I'm I'm stingy, guys. You know this. All right, boom. Perfect. One more player pick. Can I get Graham Hanson or something like that? Here we go. Another batch two re-release for the boys real quick. Lewandowski and Saka. That's the first Lewandowski, but I'm taking him for the dupe theory because he's got the footies card 
Wow, two of those picks both have 40s versions. Wow, we're setting ourselves up for some really good pulls in the future. Hopefully, with Dupe Theory for the footies cards coming soon. But anyways, guys, it is absolutely worth opening packs this week. It is crazy. If you want to check it out on the second channel, we opened a bunch of packs yesterday. If you're just getting to the grind yourself, check that out just to see what it could kind of look like. With the weight being so good, again, we mentioned these prices are probably going to drop. Like Messi went down to a million coins and he's now back. To, he's wow, back up to 1.2. He's back up 200K. Like sell this stuff, man. These, this guy is not going to maintain his price. Ronaldo's not going to maintain his price as well. He's still dropping. Pele was down at 1.2. Uh, okay, he's down even further now. He's one, wow, 1 wow, 1.05. So as you can see, these cards prices are going to be all over the place. Some of them are going to rebound back up at times, and then they're going to continue to drop. Just be careful. Do not hold on to them for very long because they're going to drop because everybody's ripping packs, and the grind is amazing. Now, fodder-wise, as we mentioned, fodder's in the mud. Remember when 88s were 11K last week? Yeah, they're six to 7,000 coins now, but... Remember how we flipped 83s, 84s, and 85s this last week? It's going to work the same way again this week, guys. Those are going to be the fodder ratings that everybody's going to need. It's going to depend upon what the SBC is that comes today. Like the 84 times 10 is going away. Whatever replaces that today, I still hope that it's the 84 times 10, just more times repeatable than three per day. You're still going to need 83s to 85s to get that done. I still think that part of the fodder market will be investable. And guys, where these fodder prices are right now, it is a no risk investment. Absolutely to be investing in 84s and 85s if you're trying to make some coins or just get yourself ready for a week of crafting. Stock your transfer list up with some of those if you want to spend the time doing that. Get them on bid because you can basically get them at minimum price on bid. 80, yeah, they're minimum price on bid, guys. 85s don't go lower than 2.1. They're 2.4 on bin. Easy money. You'll probably be able to sell these for 3 to 4K during the rest of the week. So I would look at 84s and 85s for that if you want to get invested. Now, speaking of investments as well, there's a lot more team of the season cards in packs, but the demand for the SBCs is still high. Team of the season players, oh, back down a little bit now. Wow, this is actually crazy. This might be another investment opportunity, man. Because yesterday, Team of the Season cards, guys, were all the way up at 43,000 coins. And now they're back down to 35K. That's a really, really tempting investment, I can't lie. I know that there's a lot of TOTS cards and packs. I completely understand that. And a lot of people don't have to buy Team of the Seasons as much anymore because you can pack them so much more from what's re-released. But I still think if you saw them rise yesterday, I believe they're going to rise again today. So that's kind of an interesting thing on the market that I'd be looking at today. Maybe get on some of those because they could go up because I still believe they're going to be required in like all the different SBCs. EA keeps requiring TOTS cards. I don't think that is going to stop. Now, the big news, guys. Let's talk about what is happening today and what is upcoming today on Saturday because we know the pack grind is good. It's exciting. It's flowing once again, but EA is going to make it even better. I honestly think, guys, this might be the best SBC of footies over the whole entire promo because how good the crafting SBC was when it came out a couple of weeks ago, it just completely changed the grind on this game. They mentioned yesterday in the little welcome text as you logged into the game that said, don't miss out on the footies champs objective and the footies crafting objective this week to earn some more rewards and i actually just saw it here in the menus i didn't see it before it says it again here the footies crafting objective so that means we are getting a crafting sbc and objective tied in together I think it would come today on Saturday. I don't remember when it came last time, if it was on a Saturday or if it was on a Sunday, but all we need is a 77 times five pack. Give us the exact same crafting objective and SBC that we had last time. And this grind would literally go nuclear, man. It would be the best footies grind for sure. Can you imagine free packs like 83 20s, 84 10s, and 85 times 10s inside of a footies crafting objective while getting a whole bunch of rare golds from a 77 times 5 pack. That's the key, right? Is a 77 times 5 pack has to be the one that is the crafting SBC because that gave us so many rares. Can you imagine having that and the 82 plus player pick at the same time? Oh, it would be unbelievable these next couple of days. So that is the dream if that is to come out today. And that also might actually solve some of the problem as to where our missing footies cards are. If you've been checking Footbin, you may be like, where is footies Sterling? 
And where is Footy's Carvalho? Because those are two cards that are on foot, been on foot.gg, added to the inside of the game, but they are not out anywhere in the game. I think they are going to be added. Maybe they're a part of that objective. Maybe there's going to be some player rewards. Who knows? Maybe there's a mini release. We're really confused as to why these cards are showing up in game, but they're not actually released yet. Maybe SPCs as well. We will have to see about that coming soon, but that's just a hint at maybe some cards that could be involved with the crafting objective. But guys, a crafting objective, you guys know, that could go crazy, crazy, crazy with the ability right now with all the cards and packs. A 77 times 5, you'd be like, Nate, that seems so bad. Give us an 82 times 5, right? But all of those rares, you could rinse back into player picks. You're going to be packing promo cards and special cards from a 77 times 5. I was packing promo cards from like 81 doubles. And I think I had a 77 times 5 from objectives yesterday that I packed like a 91 rated card from. So it's going to be possible. That SBC would be unreal. So I really hope that is today. And the grind and the craft will just reach a whole new height to like 10 out of 10 levels if that happens today on this game. Now, other things that could happen today on Saturday as well. We have a little bit of a teaser lead here from FIFA Trading Romania. He says, hello, United fans. I don't know. I'm guessing this is a player SBC. I don't know if it's a current United player or if it is a hero or an icon related to a former United player. He has not leaked it yet, but I'm guessing this would be an SBC leak. I doubt it would be something coming to PAX. I think it would be an SBC. A lot of people straight off the bat are thinking, Nate, Lenny Yoro, United's brand new signing. Can he get a card? Well, I don't think so because he has not been added yet as a United player in game and it was such a recent transfer. I doubt that EA have the rights for him yet to be released. So I think a more realistic expectation would be maybe somebody like Maynu. Actually, I think Maynu fits the new Evo from yesterday, Technical Titan. So it would be such an EA thing to do to release a new promo card for him after he fits into an Evo. Maybe it's Maynu. Maybe it's somebody like Rio Ferdinand if we're going to go for an icon. The last Rio that we had was a Team of the Year version here, which also subsequently fits into the Technical Titan evolution. As you can tell, he's up a lot in price. He was 200k and now he's 530k because of that if he was to get an SBC that would be a crazy one it would probably be expensive but that could be a really nuts SBC because Rio is always super meta I haven't even used this card this year but this team of the year Rio obviously had an SBC earlier on that a decent amount of people did just because it's team of the year Rio and it was a Rio card he could be really really good so that's something to watch out for I'm sure like almost 100% sure that's going to be leaked at some point very very soon because people are going to want to know who that is and when that's going to be now also today guys saturday today such a massive day of content so many things going on so many important things that'll help us set up this next week of the menu grind and the menu craft of course the crafting uh, objective and spc as we mentioned but this spc too the 84 times 10 is going away what is going to replace it this is the real question are ea going to just re-release the 84 times 10 but allow us to do it five times a day which would be my preferred thing to happen today. I don't think we're going to get an 85 times 10. I don't think they're going to even let something be unlimited repeatable as of yet. It's still too early, in my opinion, as a part of footies. But if they allow us to do this five times a day, that would be mint. I love the 8410. I love the requirements. I love the fodder that I get back from it and all the insane packs that I've been tweeted by you guys of insane stuff that you've been packing from these. What I hope they don't do is change it up. Like I don't want an 86 times two. That's the worst possible SBC today. The 86 times two, we do not want that. If it's an 85 times five or an 85 times seven, that would suffice as well. But I really would love the 84 times 10. And if I guess if they're going to do the 85 times 10, I wouldn't complain. If it's three times repeatable, we're not going to complain about that at all. But the value of this 84 10 is just amazing. So I really hope that it refreshes. What also we should be getting today as well would be this pack right here. The 86 times three footy re-release batch two and that's kind of the replacement for the 85 5 batch one pack that we had last saturday as well so today 86 times three pack probably a replacement for the 84 times 10 or refresh with more times to complete it a player sbc and the crafting upgrade today's a really massive day the crafting upgrade could be tomorrow on sunday as well but i'd have to imagine that it would be today because i'm pretty sure it dropped on saturday the last time that we had one uh earlier in I think it was during Euro PTG Team 2. Is that when we had the last crafting objective and upgrade? I think that's when it was. Oh, last thing I want to mention about this game at the moment, Foot Champs. If you're playing Foot Champs this weekend, be very, very careful about 
games going to penalties. You actually don't want games going to penalties because it'll give you the points glitch again where it'll only give you one point even if you win on penalties instead of giving you four for the points in champs playoffs or in champs finals. That is something it sounds like it's going around once again. Sounds like it is not fixed. EA said they fixed it on PC in that one tweet last week. But I feel like it's uh, not fixed and it's still going around and people are having issues with that. So that's kind of the state of things. If you missed my 600k pack poll, that is on Twitter. I want you guys to check that out because if you're going to spend coins on a pack, I mean, the guys, uh, the, the, the pack that they released yesterday in the store is is not a good pack. The 575,000 coin pack. I'm going to foot scoreboard right now to pull up uh, their tweets of the pack code to show you guys the ones that you really want to stay away from. They dropped this one right here. The 84 times 10 footies week two guarantee. It's a 575,000 coin pack. Do not touch that with your coins. If you're going to open a store pack, the 83 times 100 is 600,000 coins. It's expensive, but you get 100 promo cards. I had two full pages of special cards, and we opened another one on stream, which is also in the video on the second channel, which had like two and a half, almost three pages of just full special cards. So that is the one to open for sure. Even the one that's probably going to come out today, the Footies Week 2 Duo Guarantee, and 85 times 15, 15 promo cards for 650,000 coins or 700k or whatever they're going to require for that today. Sure, you get two guaranteed footies players in it. It's not worth it. Literally open the 83 times 100. That is the best pack right now um, in this game. Let me go to my Twitter and just you know show you that this pack is so insane, right? If you guys didn't see this clip, this is who I got out of it. I got Sun as the walkout and I got Ronaldo um, as the double walkout. But then again, you see the rest of the pack and you see... Just all the fodder that's inside of it. I packed two footies players, Bomb Pastor. I got both Mascheranos. That is the pack to do. And I'm not advocating for the store. I'm just telling you, a lot of people right now are looking just to open the big packs and have a big chance at a Pele, a Hansen, a Rolfo, or a Best. That is your best chance at getting something crazy is that pack right there. So that's my two cents there, guys. Good luck and have fun with the menu grind and the menu craft. I'm so looking forward to content drop today just to see what is dropped, but it's going to be a fun weekend on this game. Best of luck if you're playing foot champs um, with the TOTS or the Festival of Football requirements, and I will see you guys in a video tomorrow on the channel. Check out the second channel vid once again. One last plug. If you want to see us opening some footies team two packs, and if you enjoyed today's video, drop thumbs up on it, comment below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new best of luck in your weekly games and have fun again this weekend it's going to be a blast guys playing this game and crafting in the menus it's been nathan foot account peace out